Hello everyone and welcome to 11th episode of Filty Life bringing more productivity and safety on construction job site. I am Akash, your digital account manager connecting with you all live via Facebook. Today's episode is a special episode dedicated to all the people who are into MEP work on construction job site which includes mechanical work, electric work and plumbing work. For example, you have to pass electrical cables for which you have to install electrical cable trays on the ceiling. Then you have to pass the air conditioning duct which is called as HVAC duct on the ceiling. And then finally, sometimes you have to do plumbing pipes as well. And this is what we will be discussing that how you can be more safe, reliable and faster using Hilti's innovation of Hilti wire hanger system. And to present Hilti's innovation today with us is Technical Marketing Manager Priya Kavra. Hi Priya and welcome to Hilti Live. Hello Akash and to all the viewers who are watching us live. Really glad to be a part of this Hilti Live episode. Thanks Priya for being with us and thanks to those who are watching us live or maybe post live. And guys like always, please keep posting your questions and suggestions in the comment section below because we will be answering them during the live by going itself like we will be going live on my phone and I will be reading out your comments and then we will be replying to you. So let us know your comments in the comment section below and if you are watching our episode post live as well then also you can ask your questions because I will be ensuring to reply each one of you after the live. And now let's start our interaction by me asking you the first question that tell us how currently you are fixing these overhead supports, overhead utilities on a construction job site. Let us know in the comment section below. And meanwhile, Priya, they are answering. Why don't you tell us that how, what you have observed currently in the construction industry that how overhead supports are, uh, are installed? Sure, Akash. So mostly uh, the conventional support system are being installed with the help of threaded rod and the channel. So you must have seen uh, sometimes in the parking areas and shopping mall, the overhead supports are being exposed. So this is the most traditional system which are being used and you can see there is a threaded rod and which is making the system completely rigid. That's how I would say the system quite complex and time consuming as well. Yes, totally agree with you Priya. Even I have seen people struggling on construction job site using these threaded rods and channel because the reason is firstly like these rods and channels come in a length of 1 meter, 2 meters, sometimes 5 meters right. and then you have to cut them as per the dimension which you require to install the utilities and it takes a lot of time like uh, you have to cut it and you have to ensure that it's precise, it's accurate, it takes a lot of time and secondly you have to level, you have to align, you have to ensure that all your ducts, all your plumbing pipes in a straight line for which you have to ensure that you have uh, like uh, done leveling and aligning correctly and since they are rigid it again takes a lot of time exactly Akash you rightly mentioned I mean that's not all the real problem arises when you have to do any sort of alteration realignment or maintenance so since it is a completely rigid system you need to do complete rework and that is eventually uh, making the com conventional system quite tedious and time consuming absolutely and guys, let us know in the comment section below if you also struggle with the conventional system which is threaded rod and channels on the construction job site, let us know. And Priya, now we have discussed three challenges when it comes to fixing of overhead support, which is firstly, it takes a lot of time to cut the threaded rod and channel. Secondly, it becomes very difficult to level and align, especially at a height of four to six meters. And finally, that there is a problem of rework, that if you have to change anything, it's not flexible and it's very rigid. So tell our viewers, what is the Hilti's innovation to overcome these challenges? Sure Akash, so we understand your challenges. Hilti always try to bring the new innovation to the industry. So today I am going to present the Hilti wire hanger system, which is another Hilti's innovation. So in the entire episode, we will be covering where it needs to be installed, how to install and what are the advantages. So first I would start with the advantages. First advantage of the system I would like to highlight this is system six times faster than if you are comparing with the conventional system. Secondly, this is a quite lightweight and aesthetically pleasing and top of it, it is providing the greater degree of the flexibility when it comes to do any sort of alteration and realignment. 
on the application front this particular system can cater number of application for example hvac duct insulation plumbing pipes cable tray support bus bar system lightning system even suspended ceilings as well so now let's start the demo here we have simulated the site conditions here and uh, we have uh, now akash is going to start with the first step so we will be starting with uh, leveling uh, for uh, placing the duct perfect priya and guys uh, the first step like priya mentioned is you have to ensure that you mark the position where the anchors has to be installed so that your utilities are in a straight line and what i have seen on construction job site is generally people use measuring scales tape yeah. which is very tedious and time taking but what we have done is we have used hilti's innovation of pm40 mg this is a multi line laser tool and you can see a green light coming out of it and it's a green light which is visible in daylight as well you can see and its range is 40 meters and if you are using a hilti receiver as well along with the tool you can go up to 100 meters of length and this is how it ensures that you can do the leveling and aligning within minutes which take hours and there are lot of application for which you can use this tool apart from this and if you want to know further about pm40 mg let us know in the comment section below because if you will let us know maybe we will be coming up with another episode of filty live where we will discuss about pm40 mg and now i will moving to the see next step which is drilling so uh, for hvac duct installation we need to place four anchors at all the at four ends and three anchors we have already installed just to save time and akash is going to do the fourth anchor installation so first he is going to do drill yes and guys you can see there are these three anchors 1 2 3 which we have already installed fourth one i will be installing over here and the drill machine that we will be using today is te6822 22 which is a cordless drill machine with on board dust removal system and why this dust removal system because this ensures that there is no environment in the dust what happens is when you are drilling overhead lot of dust comes onto the face of the person who is drilling and this is the thing which ensures that there is no dust that comes out and let me show you how so here we go and once you drill the next step is always ensure that there is no dust inside the hole so you use a blow out pump and that's it so now our next step is to fix the anchor this is the anchor which is hoos 3i undercut anchor this is uh, internally threaded and this anchor if you are going to design your system for the seismic qualification so this anchor is the anchor which is seismically approved as well thanks priya and guys now i will be using hoos 3 i with the help of siw22a which is again a cordless tool and you see how simple it becomes using the cordless tool installing hoos 3 anchor Now next step is to place the eye bolt. This eye bolt has externally threaded and it has the hole through which the wire can easily pass through. Perfect. And guys, you can see right now we have already installed the wire hanger system on two of the anchors, and on these two anchors I will be installing the other set of wire hanger system, and on one end I will be fixing this eye bolt over here. now we are going to place this wire into the uh, drilled hole uh, wherein we have already placed the anchor you can see we have three types of wire available with us for example for the plumbing pipes we have loop wire for a cable tray support we have wire fit snap hook but for hvac duct insulation we are using the stud wire which has the thread at the one end so on one end there was i bolt on the other end we will be fixing this wire that's it yeah now we will place the anti fall corner protector so the and you can see when i say anti fall you can see here the grooves are already been created 
wherein the wire can be easily fixed and it doesn't slip off so that that's how because once a duct is loaded there are chances that the corner pro protector can fall off so creating the groove it is making the system uh, completely rigid and uh, it is not going to fall off so this type is you have to just put this in the right direction like this so that when the duct comes you can easily install it so another advantage of the anti fall corner protector is uh, it is avoiding the friction between the metal duct and the wire also it is avoiding the uh, any kind of wear and tear is there because once the duct is loaded there are chances the wire can cut so this this anti fall corner protector is saving for any kind of wear and tear yes so now the most important component of the entire uh, wire hanger system is lock this is the unique keyless model you can see there are two knobs at the both ends and once you press this knob you can pass the wire wire goes only in one direction the moment you will try to pull the wire in the opposite direction it won't come out so that's why it is uh, making the system safe and secure because uh, you know when the duct is loaded if wire can easily be be passed through through this hole means the your the alignment would not be proper so the, this is the lock which is keeping the system safe and secure yes so the way is that you just have to put the wire in one of the knob and just pull it from here and you can see it's unidirectional if i pull it from here it will come like this but if i try to pull from here it will not come out and then i will be passing on this wire from the i bolt like this and then from the other end again i will be passing on this wire over here and now i can very easily adjust the height and now we are ready to install the hvc duct yeah so we have pavesh raina with us who is going to support akash to help the install the duct So guys now you can see the duct is tilted and this is the best part about wiring a system you can still adjust it just like this you see over here if i pull the wire and then you can adjust it like this and this is the extra wire which you can fold so that it's not lying around guys you have seen i believe it i think it took uh, only 5 to 10 minutes to place the duct starting leveling placing the anchor drilling and placing all the system component and fixing the duct so it took hardly 5 to 10 minutes so you can see it's a very easy process and uh, so in a way hilti is providing you end to end solution 
you would be wondering if I tell you we are also furnishing the complete system approval with the TUV and underwriter laboratory. So Akash, uh, please share your experience to our viewers. Sure, Priya. And to share my experience, like uh, I have done with Wirehanger system right now, installation of utilities. And earlier, I have also done with uh, the help of this threaded rod and the channel. Yeah. And what I find is that this time it was much faster and it was very easier and simple for me. In this, it takes a lot of time and then the, because of the rigid support, many a times there is a lot of misalignment that happens. So, and moreover, what I will say is, uh, rather than me sharing my experience, let's ask the viewers, guys, what, how did you find the demo? Was it easier or was it difficult compared to the uh, conventional system? Let us know in the comment section below. And now, Priya, I'm sure all of our, all of our viewers are convinced that why to go for wire hanger system rather than conventional system. And now they have also seen the installation. But I'm sure they would be thinking about that there are so many components that are used and then there is load that is coming out on the utilities. So how to calculate the load and how to select that how much wire will be required, all these quantities. So can you help our viewers in understanding that? That's an amazing question, Akash. And I believe uh, the viewers also must be thinking how it can be done, the designing part. So I would like to tell you that we have Engineering Competence Center team uh, furnish the design on the basis of the load carrying capacity we are requiring for the particular overhead support. They also do the quantification for your uh, particular support system at the job site and it, it doesn't end here. We, Our team also provides the training to your workforces. We have the project team. They are well equipped with the system. If at all, if there is a need uh, to uh, train your people at the job site, our project team will go and train so that we can uh, easily get this particular HVAC duct insulation and hassle free. Wow, sounds exciting. Guys, what else you need? We are providing end to end solution. And now you have a choice. Either you can go for wire anger system or what the, with the conventional method, the threaded rod and the channels. You have to decide. And if you want to be more productive and you have chosen wire anger system, then what you have to do is you have to let us know in the comment section below. Write down free consultation. You have to write free consultation in the comment section below and our team will reach out to you, will help you in designing the system, in calculating the quantities which is BOQ and then finally our project team will come and train your guys and help you install the wire hanger system. So do let us know in the comment. Moreover, what we have done is we have posted a link in the description of the video below from where you can download the catalog of wire hanger system. So do not forget to click on that. And let me quickly check if we have got any questions or what all comments we have got. And then I see Praful says threaded rod they have seen on the job site using earlier. And Biswajit asks how Hilti HWS can be used as a seismic support. So would you like to tell a little bit about seismic support? Yeah, so for we are we are using the Who's 3 anchor, which is a seismically approved anchor. So first we need we would be needing your inputs from your end, then only we can design the system. Absolutely, you can reach out to us and we will support you with the seismic load designs. And then uh, I see Subham says cordless tool saves time. And Dishan said this is something which I was waiting from long time, really a knowledgeable session. Jamit says end to end activity of making to installation HVC duct made easy with complete healthy solution. Thanks for your questions and thanks for your comments. Guys, please keep posting your questions and comments post live as well because we will be ensuring to answer each one of you. And that's it from our side in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the live episode with my colleague Priya Kaura. It was an amazing experience to interact with you all. Next episode, you will be coming up with another healthy innovation. So stay tuned, stay safe. Till then, take care of yourself and see you all in the next episode. Do not forget to click the link and to download the catalog of Hilti Wirehanger system. Thank you for watching us live.